Hello everyone, we will be solving homogeneous equations. We have to obtain the general solution for our DE x minus y times 4x plus y dx plus x times 5x minus y dy is equal to 0. Simplify muna natin tong part na to kasi medyo magulo pa siya. Meron tayong multiply both dito sa part na to tsaka dito sa kabila. So let us multiply. We have our x times 4x that is equal to 4x squared, and then we have our x times y, ito ay magiging xy, dito naman tayo, negative y times 4x, that is negative 4xy, tapos negative y times y, that is negative y squared. Tapos na tayo dun sa unang part, punta tayo dito. Mas madali kasi si x lang ang ating multiply So x times 5x, that is 5x squared, and then x times negative y, that is negative xy, dy is equal to 0. Then, ano pa yung masasimplify natin? Meron tayong common xy tsaka xy dito. So, this is xy minus 4xy. This is equal to negative 3xy. Now, kung kapansin nyo, we have our terms here and then dito kasama ni dx at ni dy. Kailangan muna natin i-confirm if our equation ay homogeneous nga. By observation, let us go term by term. Kung mapansin natin, this is x squared degree 2, tapos si xy, tig-isa sila, so this is also degree 2, y squared is degree 2, x squared is degree 2, and then xy ulit, tig-isa, this is also degree 2. Then, yung equation natin ay homogeneous nga. With that, pwede na tayo mag-proceed sa ating solution. Yung dx natin, tsaka dy, tignan natin yung function of x and y na kasama nila. Pipili tayo, alin ba yung mas simple? Eto, tatlong terms. Ito, dalawang terms. So, ito yung mas simple. Kaya, ang gagawin natin, we let y be equal to vx. Nag-introduce tayo ng panibagong variable. And then, yung derivative nito, applying product rule of differentiation dito sa vx, this is dy is equal to vdx plus x dv. Ang gagawin natin, lahat ng y, papalitan natin ng vx, lahat ng dy, isa lang naman siya, papalitan natin ng vdx plus x dv. Working on our equation, so for x squared, wala naman. So, negative 3xy, yung y ay magiging vx. So, negative 3x times vx, that is equal to negative 3vx squared. Minus, yung y natin will become vx. So, vx, lahat ng yun, raised to 2, that is equal to v squared, x squared. And then, for this part, x lang to, and then negative x times vx, that is negative vx squared. And then, yung dy naging vdx plus xdv. Ito siya. Then, let us multiply. Ito yung dx lang naman ang multiply natin. So, we have our 4x squared dx minus 3vx squared dx minus v squared x squared dx. Itong part na to. Then, dito sa pangalawang part, magmumultiply tayo. So, we will be doing 5x squared times vdx. So, this becomes 5vx squared dx. Para maging consistent tayo dahil inuuna ko yung V dun sa terms ko dito, gawin ko rin siya dito sa kabila. Then, para mauna lahat ng DX, i-multiply ko muna eto kay DX. So, this is negative VX squared times VDX. That is negative V squared X squared DX. Then, ito naman yung trabahuhin natin. Lahat ng may DV. So, 5X squared times X DV. X squared ay magiging X cubed. So, 5X cubed DV. And then, eto naman yung pangalawa. So, we have our negative vx squared times x dv. This is negative v. Yung x squared ay naging x cubed. And then, dv. This is all equal to 0. Ngayon, tignan natin kung ano yung common na terms para kahit na paano mabawasan natin siya. Kung kapansin natin, we have our 3vx squared dx saka 5vx squared dx. So, yun lang ba ang common natin? So, we have our v squared, etong part na to. So, let me change the color. So, we have v squared x squared dx saka negative v squared x squared dx. So, this is also common. So, negative 3 vx squared plus vx squared, that is equal to positive 2 vx squared. Ito yung part na to. And then, negative and then negative. So, this is equal to negative 2 v squared x squared dx. Kahit na paano, nabawasan natin siya. And then, i-factor out natin lahat ng kaya natin i-factor out. Ano ba yung common? So, una, si dx, most obvious one dito. And then, we have our x squared. And then, sa constants natin, pwede rin nating ilabas si 2. So, factoring 2x squared dx, si 2x squared muna and then si dx, ang natira dito is just 2. For this part, ang natira lang ay si positive v. 
And then dito naman ay si negative v squared. So that's it for this part. Then dito naman tayo kay dv. Ano yung common? Ulit si dv. And then we have our x cube. So factoring out x cube and then dv, ang natira ay si 5 minus v. And this is all equal to 0. Now we can work on our equation para gawin siyang separable. So dx, dapat ang kasama lang nito ay function of x. etong part na to. So tatanggalin natin si 2 plus v minus v squared. Ito naman, dv, dapat ang kasama niya lang ay function of v. So tatanggalin naman natin si x cube. To do that, let us multiply both sides of our equation by 1 all over ito times 1 all over x cube. So mawawala to dito. Tapos ang matitira ay si 2x squared all over x cube. x squared all over x cube, that is this equal to 1 over x. So this becomes 2dx all over x plus, dito naman sa part na to, mawawala si x cube. Ang nasa numerator natin ay si 5 minus v dv all over our denominator 2 plus v minus v squared dv. This is already a function of x dx. This is a function of v dv. Now, we can proceed with getting the integral nung ating equation. Ito na yung tatrabawuhin natin on our next steps. Getting their integral, ito, madali lang, ln of x. Dito tayo medyo magtatrabaho ng kaunti. Kung mapansin nyo, we have 2 plus v minus v squared. Una natin iisipin, meron ba akong pwedeng elect u? Baka mag somewhere. Kaso nga lang, ang derivative nito is 1 minus 2v dv. So, hahanap ako ng paraan para maging 1 minus 2v yung nasa numerator. Kaso nga lang, mukhang may hihirapan tayo doon. So, what more can we do? Ito ba ay mapafactor out natin in a way na pwede malid yung integral into inverse trigo? Mukhang hindi rin. So, wala tayong choice. We have to go with our long method, long way na pagkuha gamit ang partial fraction. So, eto lang yung part na to na gagalawin natin si 5 minus v all over 2 plus v minus v squared. Factoring out the denominator, that is 2 minus v times 1 plus v. And then, eto yung numerator natin, it will be on this form. So, yung dalawang factors natin, we have 2 minus v, denominator, and then 1 plus v nasa denominator. Kailangan natin isolve yung value ni a at ni v. Simplifying this first, we have to multiply our equation dun sa nasa denominator natin. So, eto ang matitira lang ay 5 minus v sa ating left side ng ating equation. And then, dito naman sa ating right side, mawawala si 2 minus v. So, this becomes a times 1 plus v. And then, kay b naman, mawawala si 1 plus v. So, this becomes 2 minus v times b. Let us work dun sa highest degree ng ating variable na v pababa. So, ano bang highest degree natin? We have degree 1. So, let's start with v raised to 1. Ano yung nandito sa left side na kasama ni v raised to 1? Ito ay negative 1 lang. And then for a, this is v raised to 1. So, v lang to pero ang coefficient niya is 1. So, 1 times a, kaya a lang siya. And then for this one naman, so this is negative 1 times v. That is for our v raised to 1 sa lahat ng v natin. And then working down for our v raised to 0, yung mga constants natin, ano yung natira? This part 5 lang. And then dito naman, we have 1 times a, so this is just a. Ito naman, 2 times b, so this is 2b. Para masolve natin si a tsaka si b, yun yung goal natin dito, what I will be doing is, I will be eliminating yung a by doing itong v raised to 1 minus v raised to 0. Applying subtraction, so a minus a, this will become equal to 0. So negative 1 minus 5, this will become negative 6. Negative b minus 2b, that is negative 3b. Then, solving for the value of b, this is equal to positive 2. Na-solve to by multiplying both sides of my equation by negative 1 over 3. So, negative 6 over negative 3, that is just positive 2. Then, solving for the value of a using v raised to 1. So, this is our equation na ginamit. Negative 1 is equal to a. Ang b natin is 2, kaya ito ay naging negative 2. Then, kapag nilipat ko si sa kabila, then the value of a is just equal to 1. Now, we can substitute yung value ng a natin, this is just 1, and then yung value ng v natin, this is just 2. Ibabalik natin siya dito, so etong part na to, ipapalit natin dito. Retain pa rin si dv. Kaya this will become equal to, eto yung part na ginalaw natin, our a is 1, 1 all over 2 minus v, plus yung b natin is 2, kaya 2 
all over 1 plus v. And that is all multiplied 2 dv. Kasi ito yung part na to, 5 minus v all over 2 plus v minus v squared is equal to this. And then nasolve natin yung value ng a natin 1, ang b natin ay 2, and that is times dv. So naka-arrive tayo dito sa part na to ng ating equation. After that long process, we can peacefully solve for our integral. Doing that, hiwalay muna natin sila. So we have our 2 dx over x. Then yung 1 times dv, this is just dv all over 2 minus v plus. Yung 2 dito, nilabas ko na. And then natira sa loob is dv all over 1 plus v. Then eto okay na to. Etong part na to, kuha pansin nyo, 2 minus v. Kaya itong numerator, gagawa ako ng paraan para ito ay magiging negative dv. So, para maging negative dv, yung ating numerator, I will be multiplying negative 1 sa labas and then this will become negative dv. Kasi pag minultiply ko to pabalik, babalik ako dito. Ngayon, na yung nasa denominator, ang derivative niya ay yung nasa numerator. Now, this integral will lead to ln. Solving for that, this becomes 2 ln of x minus yung negative eto ln of 2 minus v. Again, kasi yung nasa denominator, its derivative is yung nasa numerator plus 2. Same process here, we have ln of 1 plus v. This is equal to ln of c. Ginawa ko na siyang ln of c in anticipation dun sa susunod na process na gagawin natin. Then, para mawala yung constants dito, ang gagawin ko is ilalagay ko sila dun sa exponent nung nasa loob nung ating ln. Applying the power rule of logarithm. So that is ln of x squared minus, eto retained. So yun to dito, this becomes ln of 1 plus v, atong buong to ay naka-square. So kung makapansin nyo, lahat sila ay in terms of ln. By applying rules of logarithm, lahat ng addition, ln of x squared, tsaka itong ln of 1 plus v squared, gagawin ko silang products, and then tung negative, gagawin ko siyang quotient. Then, I will simultaneously raise yung buong equation as exponents na ang base ko ay e. In that way, ang matitira lang ay si x squared times 1 plus v squared all over 2 minus v and this will become c. So, this will be equal to this equation. Again, products nung mga addition and then quotient nung ating subtraction. Yung ln of c ay naging c na lang. Now, the rest of the solution, ibabalik na lang natin yung v natin in terms of x and y. Since our y is equal to v times x, ang value ng v natin is equal to y all over x. So, lahat ng v gagawin kong y over x. Doing that, so we have our x squared times 1 plus y all over x, etong part na to, and then this is all raised to 2 all over 2 minus yung v ay naging y all over x. Then, simplifying etong part na to, so they will have a common denominator. This will become x plus y all over x. Kasi etong part na to, this is just a whole number. So, x over x is just equal to 1. Same dun sa ating denominator. Then, to simplify further, yung squared dito, I will be multiplying it to both my numerator and denominator. Dito sa part na to. So, this will become x squared times this becomes x plus y, eto, squared, all over x squared. Tapos, kinuha ko yung reciprocal ng aking denominator and then minultiply ko siya dito sa taas. Reciprocal is x all over 2x minus y. And then, lahat ng operation, nung tatlong to ay multiplication, kaya I can proceed here. So, x squared all over x squared, this will become 1. And then, to simplify, ang natira dito ay x times x plus y squared, and then minultiply ko kay 2x minus y yung buong equation, kaya this becomes c times 2x minus y. And finally, after that long process, this is our simplified solution of our differential equation. Music